I got the waves out, you know, no do-rag. I usually go to the gym ragged up with a do-rag on, you know, and it's for reasons that I will explain later. But today we're going to experiment, you know. So I'm going to go train. Uh, I'm headed to the gym right now, get a chest and back session in. And uh, we're going to see what happens to my hair um, throughout the workout, you know. So this is pretty much to give you guys a little demo on why you should wear a do-rag, why you sweat while you work out, why you're playing sports. And uh, hey, if you don't see any change and it's decent for you, then you don't have to be ragged up when you work out. So it's pretty much personal preference. I'm always ragged up, as I said before. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys why. On my way to the gym, about to pull up actually now in about three or four minutes. Uh, catch you guys at the gym. Go oh, check the waves too. back in the car fresh after the workout that was about an hour 15 long of a workout 
Got my protein shake right here. Some uh, chocolate brownie, the DPI best protein. This shit is good. Uh, good workout. Pump. So yeah, check out the waves. So not bad. Now, let me tell you what was gonna happen or what should happen for coarse hair waivers. If you train without a do-rag and are sweating a super amount of sweat and your hair is long, that's the key. Your hair has to be long. If your hair isn't long, this will not happen. Now, normally my hair is longer. I'm two weeks after a fresh haircut, three against the grain, and my hair is pretty low right now, so it's not crazy, okay? Now, I train on my lunch break, and I can't go to work like this. I mean, it's still not laid down all the way. I could probably easily just grab a plastic bag and go to work and lay my hairs down, but why do all that? Normally, I just stay ragged up, keep the hair compressed, keep it down, and then after the workout, it's still fairly great. And I, I still do a plastic bag right after a workout and I'm fresh, man. I'm still, I'm as if I didn't even sweat, you know? So normally that's, normally your hair will frizz up, turn into like an Afro type if you sweat a lot, if your hair is long for the coarse hair waivers. And you know what I'm talking about if you are a, a true coarse hair waiver like myself. But yeah, so the waves aren't bad right now, man. Um, that was pretty much the demonstration. I just wanted to show you guys that when you sweat, it, it tends to make cause your hair to frizz up and that's the struggle that a lot of us course our waivers deal with when we are sweating when we're training when we're playing sports you know and that's why we always stay ragged up so i recommend that if you wanted to keep your waves fresh just stay ragged up stay ragged up at the gym stay ragged up when you're playing sports whether you're playing basketball football soccer whatever you're doing when you sweat stay ragged up it will benefit you you know so that's pretty much it i was hoping my hair would have frizzed up a little bit more but i forgot that it's not as long so it's not gonna frizz up crazy but it is frizzy okay and i don't like to walk around like this so that's why i stay racked up so thank you guys for watching this video i hope it was helpful showing you guys why you should stay racked up at the gym you can apply this if you're uh medium hair waiver or whatever the case may be but from a coarse hair waivers out since i'm coarse i'm a coarse hair waiver i can talk to you guys stay ragged up in the gym stay ragged up when you're playing sports subscribe to the channel i got more content coming for you guys uh, watch my fitness videos if you're trying to make some gains getting ready for the spring for the summer and uh, i'll check with you guys in the next video so thank you guys for watching